Well, it is 614 and the countdown continues. We are now just days away from the upcoming solar eclipse. On Monday, more than 31 million people from Texas to Maine will be in the prime location to experience a total eclipse of the sun. Yeah, really excited for this because even if you're outside of the path of totality like we are in this region, you will still see a partial eclipse. Dr. Nikki Fox joining us live. She is NASA's head of science, joining us from the Goddard Space Flight Center in Greenbelt, Maryland, to talk about the event. Dr. Fox, good morning. So glad to have you. Good morning. It's exciting. It, it is so exciting. And so we're not in the path of totality here in the Philadelphia region, but we will see a 90% totality. So that in and of itself is significant. Tell us uh, what we can expect to see exactly. So you will see uh, the shadow of the moon sort of uh, creeping across uh, the sun. Um, it will look a bit like by the time you get to, I think, about 90% um, is, uh, is what you'll see in the Philadelphia area. So it looked like somebody's taken a giant bite out of the cookie. Um, and, and you'll see a sort of crescent shape um, around, around the, the, uh, the moon. So you'll just see exactly that, that sort of crescent shape um, right before. Obviously, if you're in the path, you'll actually see that, that beautiful crescent. Corona. Um, if you go out to Erie, Pennsylvania, they are in the path of totality, but in Philadelphia, you'll see about 90%. Now, Dr. Fox, we've been told to never look directly at the sun. Safety is extremely important. How can people safely view the solar eclipse? So I recommend nice e uh, eclipse glasses like these. Um, and in uh, when you have a partial eclipse, you do have to wear the glasses all all the time. Um, either glasses, or you can use some sort of solar viewer, like a pinhole camera, um, to uh, sort of safely look down um, on uh, on on the ground, uh, so you can actually see see that partial eclipse. But if you are um, uh, in Philadelphia, please do protect your eyes. That's the most important thing. Uh, wearing um, good sun, uh, good uh, eclipse glasses, never sunglasses. They're not good enough. You must wear full eclipse glasses. Very important to keep in mind. This is a relatively rare event, and you know, talking to scientists leading up to this eclipse, everybody is just so thrilled and excited to see this happen. What will you be looking for as it's happening? Um, I cannot wait to see the sun's corona. Um, so that hazy atmosphere that uh, you'll see sort of surrounding, it looks like a crown around, around the, the, the sun once the moon's blocked out the main light of the sun. And I actually study the corona. And so to be able to see that um, amazing show um, with my with my own eyes, because once you do get to totality, you do take the sun the, those uh, those eclipse glasses off. I keep saying sunglasses. Take those eclipse glasses off, and and you'll see uh, that just amazing corona. And it'll look different to if you were lucky enough to see it in 2017. Uh, that was during a much quieter phase of the sun cycle. Um, we're at sort of solar maximum coming well coming up to solar maximum. So the corona will look very different to uh, if you saw it in 2017. Now, Dr. Fox, I think we're supposed to have some relatively good weather on Monday. So I'll ask you this, though. If the weather takes a turn and it's somewhat crummy, are you out of luck with the eclipse? Um, so I'm hopeful. We're actually going to be in Texas, and they are forecasting uh, some clouds there. Um, uh, during the 2017 eclipse, it was clouded out where I was, and at the at the uh, the time of totality, because the temperature drops, the clouds actually parted, and um, we saw it was like wow. a frame around the sun. It was one of the the most beautiful sights I've ever seen, and I rem I got completely excited <laughs> about seeing <laughs> about seeing the corona because I was really quite glum about it being cloudy um, so so there is a chance even um, even if the it is forecast for for clouds um, during totality we do hope that those clouds will clear um, but it's an amazing sight as I say even in Philadelphia 90% yes. um, of, uh, of the eclipse you'll be able to see so pop on those glasses and just enjoy this incredible um, time when the the moon uh, treats us to an amazing celestial show. Wow. We cannot wait. Dr. Wow. Nikki Fox from the Goddard Space Flight Center in Maryland of NASA. Thank you so much for your insight and expertise.